Hello and welcome everyone to this new episode of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we're going to look at uh, Internet Principle of Operation, Part 1. Now, in this chapter, we need to know what is a web browser. A web browser is a software that allows a user to locate, access, and display web pages. So we can say that the functions of a web browser are as follows. Display web page. Interprets or translate the HTML document. Interprets or translate embedded scripting, for example, JavaScript. Provides functions such as bookmarks and history. And lastly, identifies protocols such as HTTPS and SSL. The next part that we need to know about Internet principles is the Internet Service Provider, also known as the ISP. And the ISP is a company that provides customers with Internet access. Data may be transmitted using several technologies, including dial-up, DSL, cable modem, wireless, or dedicated high-speed interconnects. So we can briefly say that the roles of an ISP are provide a reliable and accessible conduit for traffic and services, provide authentic and author authoritative routing information, provide authentic and authoritative naming information, report security incident statistics to the public, educate customers about threats, inform customers of apparent infections, warn other ISPs of imminent danger, Avoid aiding and abetting criminal activity. Hypertext Markup Language, also known as HTML. HTML can be described as follows. Hypertext Markup Language, used to create, develop uh, web pages, translated by a web browser to display web pages, uses tags to display or format content. The HTML consists of the following two parts. Firstly, structure. Instruct on how the layout of the content is displayed. Secondly, presentation. Instruct on how the content will be formatted. HTTP. HTTP means Trans Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is an underlying protocol used by World Wide Web, and this protocol defines how messages are formatted and transmitted, and what action web servers and web browsers should take in response to various commands. So in brief, we can say that HTTP is the way we talk on the internet. How messages are formatted, how the messages are presented in the internet uh, is the role of the HTTP. HTTPS. Now, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure HTTPS is a variant of the standard web transfer protocol HTTP that adds a layer of security on the data in transit through a secure socket layer or a transport layer security protocol connection. So, as we mentioned earlier, HTTP is a protocol that allows transfer of data in the internet. Now, HTTPS is a variant of HTTP whereby we are going to secure this data either through SSL or TLS. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have liked the video, please subscribe, click on the thumbs up and leave a comment on how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you next time.